video features a gold medal match between Rika Takayama and Clara Apotica of Slovenia. But first we're going to have a look at Takayama's quarterfinal bout from this Grand Prix event. So Takayama's in the white judo gi representing Japan. And she comes in with this drop sode to score a wazaari, immediately scooping up the arm, looking to move to Tateshiho Gatame for Osai Kome. As her Russian opponent bridges, Rika transitions, attacking the other arm. And now she switches again back to the right arm. She slides her knee under the body and a sumi gaishi to send her opponent back to the floor. Now she's working again once more to establish the Tate Shiho Gatame. And she frees the leg and now she moves into Mune Gatame with an Ude Garami control. And you'll see that the opponent is thinking about tapping here a lot. Every time she makes a move to escape, Takayama applies a little bit more pressure with that Ude Garami. So the opponent ceases her escape attempt. So Takayama won that one impressively with an Osai Komi Ippon. Next, let's have a look at Apoteka's quarterfinal matchup. So here she has a Sankaku Jime locked on, but the opponent has both arms inside. So she's trying to move to Tate Shiho Gatame. You can see that the Croatian's left arm is inside the Sankaku. And as she removes the left arm, it opens up a lot of space. Potika never tightened that Sankaku Jime. So a missed opportunity for her. But she comes back, scores with a Yuko. This is an older match when Yuko's were still valid. Now she's looking to attack the arm once more. This time she's got the arm extended, but she hasn't got the leg over the head. So she's going to move back up for a Tate Shiho Gatame pin. The referee hasn't called it yet. She's still got her hand on the Croatian's wrist. She has the opportunity to move back for the Juji Gatame if she wants it. But I believe Osai Komi has been called at this point. And it seems like the opponent taps either due to pressure on the elbow or just because the Waza Ari had been scored. Now here is the final matchup. So we have Takayama versus Apotoka in this gold medal contest. So Apotoka is the tallest Judoka in this under 78 kilo weight category. Takayama has good grips here. So both girls pushing strong pace early in this gold medal contest. And Tomo Inage attempt into a Juji Gatame by Rika Takayama and She's stuck in half guard, so she wasn't able to complete the Juji Gatame, so she's switched her plan, looking for Osai Komi. Apotoka looking for a deep half guard position, but that enabled Takayama to get a hold of Apotoka's left hand. And she's trying to twist that right now. Apotoka bridging to escape this Osai Komi attempt. She's bridged to escape the Osai Komi. Takayama able to stay on the offense, transitioning to a Juji Gatame. Oh, she's got it extended. And there's a big tap, big fast tap by Apotaka. Tsukasa Yoshida, very happy with her teammates' win. Takayama and the Japanese coach are all business while they're on the tatami. We'll see as soon as Takayama leaves the tatami. Big smile breaks out on the face and the coach responds. So a gold medal goes to Takayama. There's the tap. Once more rolling Takayama back onto her back using the leg 
to break the grip and you can see that the elbow was clearly hyperextended. Potoka clearly had some flexibility but not enough to withstand the force of Takayama's Jujigatame. So let's have one last look at the quarterfinal. Both matches from Takayama are very exciting on the ground. So subscribe for more non-stop Newaza. I'm going to do at least one more video on Rika Takayama in the future. She is competing at this month's Paris Grand Slam, which is about 10 days away. So if she does well in the Paris Grand Slam, that video will probably be up very soon. If she doesn't do so well in the Paris Grand Slam, it'll probably be on the someday list. Thanks for watching.